everything we use today, the jugs, the glasses, the pina colada mix, with the exception of the alcohol, we'll have links to it down in our video's description below. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We are doing fun stuff here all the time. Happy weekend to you. It's time for another uh, slushy making event. Hi, I'm Charlie from Multicasking, and today I'm gonna make for you the pina colada. Uh, I review a lot of whiskey. I travel the world, my wife and I. We review whiskey, we review, review distilleries, and I am a slushy man at heart. I've had over 500 pina coladas at over 500 different locations for two reasons. One, it's hard to screw up a pina colada, and two, uh, when you get a really good one, like I hope we're gonna make today, there's just nothing like it. So we're gonna use the Margarita Man's Pina Colada Mix. This is the Pina Colada Select, and yes, there is a difference. The Pina Colada is Pina Colada. The Pina Colada Select, though, is made from pineapple juice and Coco, Coco Lopez Cream of Coconut. Those are the two extra ingredients in the Select version of Margarita Man's Pina Colada. So today, we're gonna use this whole bad boy we're gonna use two and a half gallons of uh, unfiltered water, almost said unfiltered water, and we're gonna use a 1.75 of Bacardi. Now, if you wanna make this a delicious beverage uh, for children, non-alcoholic, use this and use three gallons of water. Uh, we're gonna see today how this stacks up to the other 500 I've had throughout my life, over 500 different bars and restaurants. I'm super excited about that. Pina Colada is my go to slushy. Um, let's get to making, let's get to drinking, let's get to having some fun. Let's go. All right, so I just cleaned out my slushy machine. Normally I let it go ahead and 100% air dry. Uh, today I didn't. So uh, you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna start out with the unfiltered, I keep saying unfiltered. Today we're gonna start out with the water. Um, boom, this is my Rubbermaid pitcher. This is a gallon pitcher. I love this thing because it's lightweight and uh, it has a locking top, which a lot of them just don't. I've got one gallon in there, so let's go ahead and add the pina colada mix. Um, I'm going to add, start out with three quarters of this simply because I uh, don't know what it's gonna taste like. And I'm, oh, look at that. That is thick and that is how you know, folks, that there is real Coco Lopez in there. Coco Lopez, if you've never had it, is incredibly thick and I highly recommend you buy it in something that's already pre-made because if you don't do, if you open up Co Coco Lopez and you don't stir it and you don't shake it and you don't get it right, um, it will screw up your co your uh, slushy machine because it'll leave little bits and little chunks of coconut in there and it's just a nightmare to clean. I made one pina colada in here myself from scratch using Coco Lopez and it was a nightmare to clean this machine. So I highly recommend you buy it in something like a Margarita Man mix or the Margarita Man mix to save yourself hours of labor later. Let me go get some more water. All right, add the second gallon of water now. And you can see how thick this is. It's just went straight to the bottom. It's not mixing at all. So as soon as we get this, all the ingredients in here, we'll get this bad boy turning. Now it's time for some rum. I'm gonna use Bacardi rum. Uh, it's just what we use, light rum. Every now and then we'll use a Captain Morgan or something else, but we're gonna start out today with some light rum to make a delicious pina colada mix. Uh, we used pretty much most of that. You can see we are well past our minimum water level here. All right, we're gonna start the mixer and we're gonna set it at slush. We're gonna set the slush for negative 7.1. All right, we're gonna leave it alone for about 20, 25 minutes. Come back and see what it tastes like. I got high hopes. Just a quick little tidbit, a little trick here. If you guys are having problems with your slushies not getting the temp correctly when you first make them, make sure you keep that outside of your slushy machine free of condensation. That will 100% help you from having a uh, slushy that is all just liquid. We want it to slush up, we want it to have fun. Sometimes that happens because of too much condensation on the outside of the machine. So that's just something to pay attention to as it's making. All right, time for the moment of truth and see what we think about it. Gonna give it a taste test. If you guys don't have your own uh, cups, get your own cups. These are the perfect size cups uh, for slushies. Um, let's see what we think here. Woohoohoo! Look at that. All right, look at that. Just wet snow consistency. Man, you gotta love a slushie. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. 
Okay, margarita man. I see you. Okay, like I said before, this is the pina colada select. So it's made with pineapple juice and it's made with Coco Lopez uh, uh, coconut. So the first note you get is a pina colada classic coconut. Then immediately transitions into a thick citrus pineapple juice, which I was not expecting because it's white, right? Um, I don't detect a bit of rum in here. There's no alcohol bite, which is why I prefer rum over vodka. I think you will get that alcohol bite in any slush you make when you use vodka. I always suggest light rum. Unless I make it like an apple cider and I'll use a, a Captain Morgan. Man, I love slushies. So yeah, opens up with pineapple. Nice, not artificial, nice, natural, real pineapple. I'm sorry, coconut. That classic pina colada coconut. I prefer a pina colada with a more heavy coconut flavor. But this works out perfectly because my wife, Jean, does not. She prefers the pineapple flavor and real coconut in her pina coladas, but more pineapple forward. So I bet she loves this. Ah, that's my, that's my gut feeling anyway. Yeah, there's really not too many other hidden flavors here. Opens with pina colada, opens with uh, coconut, transitions into pineapple, and the finish is kind of a combination of a both. This is an excellent uh, pina colada for someone who likes pina coladas. I would prefer mo more co can't talk more coconut in it than what it's delivering for me. Um, I have found in about my last five or six batches of slushies that they will get more nuanced the next day. So I'm very curious to see what this tastes like tastes like tomorrow. Uh, sorry, I'm salivating. This has me going. Having a slushy machine is just fun. If you don't have a Justin V4 slushy machine, what are you doing with your life? Uh, I got mine from my lovely, lovely bride, Jean, as a Christmas present. Christmas season is coming up. Uh, if you are interested in getting this, man, get this. Links are down in the video description below. Uh, I appreciate your subscription to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to make. Oh, fun fact is this is all white, guys. Guess what we can use this? We can use food coloring. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, boom, all green food coloring. I got blue, I got red, just dropped the green. It didn't break, we're good. Uh, I have about five or six different packages of food coloring to play around with these bad boys. They're so much fun. So St. Patty's Day, Christmas, we can do a red and a white one. If you need a, uh, if you get a three tank Justin V4, you can do a red, white, and blue for oh, any national holiday. It's just fun to have a slushy machine. Uh, that's about it for me today, guys. Uh, I'm Charlie, and I hope you are just as thirsty as I am. Cheers. Man, that's so good.